Hello friends and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to print from your iPhone. First of all, there is only one requirement, well there's a couple of requirements. The first one is that uh, hopefully you will have a newer printer with the AirPrint technology. And that's an Apple proprietary technology that enables you to print very easily from any iPhone or iPad through your printer. Normally the newer printers will have that already. So all, all you have to do is check if your printer has it. If you if you don't want to check on the printer itself, you can just go anywhere. For example, this is a note. And if you say, let's say you want to print this, you click on this icon here and you will then print on the print icon. And uh, it's going to ask you to set up your printer and the printer options. So it's, it's, the first option is select your printer. So after you click this, if you have an air printer, it will appear on this list. And of course, if, this, if, that, if that printer is set up in your Wi-Fi local network, it, of course it has to be on the same Wi-Fi network than your phone is. So as you see, I don't have any air printer found because I have an older Lexmark printer. So I'm, I'm, I'm out of luck. If, if that's your case too, there are a couple of things that you can do. The easiest thing to do is just click again on this icon and send this as an email message. Or uh, So you click here on the email message and it will create an email with the content of the note, for example, or the web page, in the case you are in a web page, and uh, will send it to your email. And then from there you will print it. It's, I know it's not a good solution, uh, it, it kind of suck, but it's the you could say it's the easiest solution if you don't have an air printer. Now, the second solution is to install an app from your printer. If you have a Lexmark printer like me, go to the App Store and look for something called Lexprint. Um, after the application has been installed in your iPhone, you will see that it looks like this. It's called Lexprint. Go to your settings then click on the printer option and your printer will appear listed there. Uh, of course the printer has to be in the same Wi-Fi as your uh, as your phone. So after that is done just select it and change the option you want to change the different things. Now the bad thing about this Lexmark application is that it only allows you to print uh, photos from your camera or your um, camera uh, uh, folder or the picture folder where you have all the stored pictures. So it's not good for printing let's say an email or printing a note or a web page. This is very limiting and it all makes it does makes it useless for me. Now if you have an HP printer that's a little better. You can go to the HP website and download um, actually in the in the Apple store type ePrint HP ePrint download the HP proprietary uh, application for printers and uh, after you have installed it <coughs> it lets you do a little bit more it lets you print uh, emails and also web pages so that's pretty cool and much better than the Lexmark application which by the way um, after you download the app on your phone you also have to have something called a listener application so you have to download something to your computer that is going to listen from when you send printer jobs through your phone so it's kind of a little bit, um, it has different steps, it's a little bit complicated for just having to print something. So I do recommend just, uh, if it's possible, to have an air printer ready uh, printer. If not, then just send it to an email and then print it from your desktop. Um, because using the applications, uh, in case of an Lexmark printer, are too lim is too limited. So that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you for watching.